Hi, I'm Tim Tyler, and today I'll be discussing the term strong AI and why you should probably avoid using it. Strong AI is terminology originally invented by the machine intelligence skeptic John Searle. He used the weak AI hypothesis to refer to the idea that machine intelligences only act as though they think and have minds. He used the strong AI hypothesis to refer to the idea that machine intelligences actually think and have minds. The rhetorical point was that the strong AI hypothesis made claims that went beyond the weak AI hypothesis and was indistinguishable from it experimentally. Therefore, you should prefer the weak AI hypothesis because it's more conservative and doesn't make additional claims that are not, not justified by the experimental evidence. Of course, this distinction is an idiotic one, but that's not the point of this video. What happened next was that people overheard experts discussing the strong AI hypothesis. Naturally, they were not able to make much sense of what they heard. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, then why not just call it a duck? However, they could tell that the machine intelligence supporters were saying that the machines were strong, and that the skeptics were saying that they were weak. The natural conclusion was that the terms strong and weak had something to do with the capabilities of the machine intelligences themselves, rather than referring to the strengths of the hypotheses as originally intended. Machine intelligences do not necessarily have muscles, and so calling them strong makes little sense, except that strong could be regarded as being part of an analogy with the term powerful. However, this new usage made just enough sense to catch on, and it eventually eclipsed John Searle's original intended usage. I think that the terminology is as stupid as its origins suggest. Calling an AI intelligent, smart or powerful would make sense, but the term strong is just silly. The term strong AI is practically useless in John Searle's original sense, because the concept it refers to is a pointless one. It is practically useless in the context of a powerful machine intelligence, because the, of the ambiguity with John Searle's terminology, and because strong is a dreadful synonym for smart. I just want to object to the term strong AI, because that's borrowed from John Searle, and you're playing his game. Um, strong AI for John Searle the definition of it is the it's not a certain level of AI it is the notion that when you are creating artificial intelligence that the thing that you produce actually as he would put it has intentionality or has semantics or um, ha is conscious to, to John Searle the idea is you could have something that passes the Turing test or is even smarter than that, it still wouldn't be strong AI because it would be vacuous inside. It would have no feelings, no consciousness. It would not be, its symbols would be vacuous and empty. So I want to just emphasize that the term strong AI has sometimes been misused. It is a term that is, I never use it. I think the best thing to do is avoid the terminology altogether. One of the main effects of using it is to give the impression to people like me that you do not really know what you're talking about. Enjoy.